Okay, I'm going to do a quick demo of um, a feature of Pulse Audio that's potentially quite useful on embedded devices. Um, I'm going to show you audio streaming from the Galaxy Nexus here to my laptop um, with uh, over Wi-Fi. So you can see there's nothing plugged in. It's just going to be connected to uh, the Wi-Fi at home. Um, so this is potentially quite useful because you can use it to do things like um, if you've got a TV running Pulse Audio and a phone running Pulse Audio, you can stream audio by just hitting a button from your phone to your TV. Um, what I've done is I have written a small application called uh, BA Output Switcher which lets you select a server or enter an IP address or a host name and then you hit the switch to toggle between the two. So let me show you some actual music playing. Right. So I already had my host name typed out so I just hit that. So you can see this on PAVU control here and you can hear the sound change of course it's now playing out of the speakers hooked up to my laptop and yeah uh, I can just switch back and it's back on the phone. It's that simple. Yes. So, um, a little bit about what's actually going on under the hood here. Um, clients talk to uh, Pulse Audio over a native protocol, and um, typically on your desktop, this protocol happens, uh, the communication happens over a Unix socket uh, for the actual messages. And um, the, the data goes usually over uh, shared memory transfers, but um, that's, that depends on how you're running it. But um, here what's happening is, uh, so a feature that has been there for a long time is that you can actually take this protocol and also tunnel it over uh, a TCP socket um, or an HTTP socket or over an FD, um, a file descriptor. So what we're doing here is actually, if you notice over here, I've uh, loaded a module that actually listens on a TCP socket on my laptop um, for connections coming in from a Pulse Audio client. Um, I can specify what IP it listens to, what IP ranges are allowed. You can see there's an uh, access control list here. And um, this is the, I loaded this manually, but we actually have nice GUI tools to um, let you automatically load it. Um, you can use uh, Abahi to automatically discover what um, Pulse Audio servers are running around you and then choose which one you want to stream it to. Um, I haven't yet got that functionality running on Android, but um, it's certainly doable. We have an Abahi port, uh, and of course there's Pulse Audio, so it's very much doable. Um, so yeah, so that's how it works. This thing connects to this over TCP, uses the Pulse Audio protocol, and then just talks Pulse Audio to my Pulse Audio server here, and you have music streaming. So that's that.